This is your daily devotional from Maranatha by Ellen G. White. Today's devotion title is The Wrath of the Lamb. Verse of the day, the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. Revelation 6.15 The derisive jests have ceased. Lying lips are hushed into silence. The clash of arms, the tumult of battle, with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood, Isaiah 9, 5, is stilled. Naught now is heard but the voice of prayer and the sound of weeping and lamentation. The cry bursts forth from lips so lately scoffing, the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? The wicked pray to be buried beneath the rocks of the mountains rather than meet the face of him whom they have despised and rejected. That voice which penetrates the ear of the dead, they know. How often have its plaintive, tender tones called them to repentance? How often has it been heard in the touching entreaties of a friend, a brother, a redeemer? To the rejecters of his grace no other could be so full of condemnation, so burdened with denunciation, as that voice which has so long pleaded, Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die? Ezekiel 33, 11. Oh, that it were to them the voice of a stranger. Says Jesus. I have called, and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded, but ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. Proverbs 1 24, 25. That voice awakens memories which they would fain blot out, warnings despised, invitations refused, privileges slighted. In the lives of all who reject truth there are moments when conscience awakens when memory presents the torturing recollection of a life of hypocrisy and the soul is harassed with vain regrets. But what are these compared with the remorse of that day when destruction cometh as a whirlwind? Proverbs 1.27 Those who would have destroyed Christ and his faithful people now witness the glory which rests upon them.